When I came back from China last December, and that's uh, 22nd of December, I decided to short Tesla. Uh, why was that so? Because of what I've seen in the two cities I visited. One was Changsha, it's an up upcoming city. The other one was Shanghai. Whatever that I've seen in the showroom, it wasn't that pleasing to me. And I think that uh, based on the technicals and especially with the wash and rinse signal, then Tesla uh, really is looking very weak. And of course, that uh, with the recent period of news coming in from Tesla with the Tesla price cut in China as well as Europe, this greatly affected Tesla. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is to give you an idea of what I've seen in the automotive showroom in uh, China, Changsha and Shanghai, uh, to give you a brief outlook of what I really feel and also how I shorted on Tesla. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that if you do take your holidays, do try to look at not only the sceneries or places uh, where you want to go for food or enjoy, but also look at the overall economic conditions because it does help a lot in your investment decision. The first city that I visited was Changsha. It's uh, the up and coming or rather the new lease for uh, 2023 first tier city. So Changsha is included in this new list as a tier one city. To me, it's a it's a very vibrant city, right? And and there's lots of uh, young people. I was able to go to the showroom on Friday in the morning as well as Saturday in the afternoon. And what I can only say is that I had a great time that I was able to try in almost uh, the any of the showroom, any of the EVs that I saw that, that was, was on display. Uh, so it was a good thing for me. I was able to sit at the steering wheel and try out for as long as I want. But what does it mean uh, when, when you look at this situation here? It means that there's no other people to fight for me. I don't feel inconvenient. I don't feel embarrassed to stay in the vehicle for long because there wasn't people in the showroom. At most that... For those more popular brands like Huawei, where it was in a flagship store, then I have probably another one more person who was browsing the cars at that point of time. Uh, so it's pretty much depressing and gloomy because if you imagine that on a Friday and a Saturday, there's really no people except me and my friend who can't buy uh, an EV in China because we are foreigner. And literally, they are more salesmen than customers, isn't it? Right. So uh, because of this, I came back and to observe if there's no people in the showroom, then where can there be car sales? And it's not surprising when Tesla announced that it has to cut prices in China first. And these triggered really a lot of automotive brands like, for example, BYD, Li Auto to also tumble as well. Uh, I will talk about uh, BYD in my next video. But let's head to Tesla all right, and, and what are the signals that I saw to result in a shot in Tesla. The first when I observed about Tesla was the lower highs. So this was a high and then this was a lower high. And likewise, uh, when I shorted somewhere around here, uh, this as compared to the previous high, it was clearly a lower high. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is, uh, of course, I like to draw in equidistance channel. It's a very, very useful tool. And if you do observe, let's say, a price making a lower low, like this a low and a lower low and you do have like another one more lower highs here as compared to the previous high it is very useful to draw in equidistance channel so i'm just going to get the equidistance channel to here and then starts the drawing from the low to the low and high, right? i realize that price is very much near to this equidistance channel high there was an attempt to push the price higher uh, when uh, you know at, at this green color bar here but all in all it just says that tesla was in a resistance and uh, I traded on this wash and rinse signal. So this is a very clear wash and rinse signal here. So this candle is a wash and then this one is a rinse that fall back to below the wash line. So my shot was somewhere around here and I have actually taken profit because uh, it's near to a very strong support level that you can see here. Right, so this is the very class, strong cluster of support level. But one more thing, one more thing, all right, that uh, I thought that would be useful is always to switch that into a weekly chart. So this is always one of the tricks that I would do, right? That means to switch that into a weekly chart. And you do realize a very nice, strong trend line for Tesla. Uh, and uh, what I have to do is to connect the trend line. As, as long as Tesla doesn't, 
uh, I mean, uh, you know, break above this trend line, I will still be looking at a short. Uh, but uh, only when price can move high up near to this level here, and then to ultimately create a wash and rinse. Personally, I'm foreseeing a little bit more weaknesses in the EV industry, and especially for those uh, EV stocks that's listed in China, with uh, China as primarily the uh, key market, like for example, BYD. Uh, so I will cover BID in my next video, but if you do have anything that you would want me to cover, do let me know and I'll share that in my next video too. Thank you and remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button as well.